Hello, Jeremiah. We are on Bible. This is Finding God's Promises. We're starting on section two. Um, along with our spelling test on Monday, we also have a Bible verse test on Monday. So you want to keep that in mind as well. Um, I need you to done. lights, camera, action. Done, done, done. Okay. And here we go. Now remember, when we do finding God's promises, you have a piece of paper. Please don't do that. Thank you. I give you a blank piece of paper like this. And over here, you need to write your name. Name, the date. Thank you. Is this there? And write, let's see, finding God's promises. We can put F G P for finding God's promises. Okay. Austin, did you get this written on your paper? Okay. No, probably not. Yay! FGP. Looks like a six, doesn't it? It's F six P. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, I guess we're running six. I need Tyler Williams to the admin office to go home, please. Tyler Williams. Okay. And finding God's promise, KJ, turn around. All the way around. Screw your chair up. Put your feet under the desk. Scoot up. 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 Okay. Finding God's promises. This is where I read a Bible story. And you just sit and think about it. And then when we are done hearing it, we'll put a title up on it and I'll let you illustrate what you heard. All right, here we go. God promises to take all saved people to live with him in heaven for eternity. In our lesson this week, we see the special place God has prepared for those who love him. Heaven is a beautiful place far more beautiful than our earth. We cannot completely know what heaven will be like because we do not have the mind and knowledge of Christ. However, when we die and go to heaven, we will then understand much more about how wonderful heaven is. We cannot understand all of this now, but we do know that there is no place on earth as wonderful or as beautiful as heaven will be. One thing we do know for sure about heaven is that there will never be any sin there. I'm here and talking. KJ, give me another dollar. Stop talking. There cannot be sin in heaven because God lives there. Just think. If even one sin could be in heaven, God could no longer live there because God cannot look upon us. Think about what it must be like to live in a place that has no sin. We know from the Bible that there will be no tests or sadness or sickness in heaven. These things are all results of sin. There will also be no word, weeds or decay or things getting old in heaven because these are caused by sin. Heaven will be wonderful, won't it? God wants us to know that if we have trusted Jesus as our Savior and have had our sins forgiven, we will be in heaven with him one day. God also says that there will be a time on earth when he will take all the Christians to heaven before they die. That sounds strange, doesn't it? But God says it will happen. Excuse me, who's talking? 
I know Hunter is too. KJ, you've got to be running out of tickets. Hunter, sit up. But God says it will happen. To teach us how this will happen, God uses the example of two people in the Bible who went to heaven without dying. A man named Enoch lived before the days of Noah. In those days, people lived for many hundreds of years before they died. A son of Enoch, who named, whose name was Methuselah, lived 969 years before he died. Enoch lived for 365 years, but he did not die. God just took him to heaven. Do you remember the story of Elijah that we studied last year? Elijah was a prophet of God who told the idol worshipers of his day to turn to the living God. Do you remember what happened to Elijah? Did he die? No, God sent a fiery chariot and took Elijah to heaven. Elijah did not die. The Bible says the time will come when people will be taken to heaven. They will not die. This will happen in an instant of time, just as it happened to Enoch and Elijah. Most people will die before they are taken to heaven. Jesus showed us something of what it would be like to die, but still go to heaven. Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood to pay the price for our sins. Since Jesus died for our sins, we do not have to pay for our sins. If we trust Jesus as our savior, he will take away our sins and take us to heaven one day. After Jesus died, what happened to him? Is Jesus still dead? No, we know that Jesus came alive again. We know this because he was seen by his disciples, by his friends and relatives, and by hundreds of other people. The Bible tells us about those, all of those things. After 40 days of walking again on the earth, these people watched Jesus rise into heaven through the clouds. Jesus allowed these things to happen to him to teach us that even though we may die, we will live again in heaven. Our bodies will die, but our spirits, the inside part of us, that is the real us, continue to live forever in heaven. Then one day our bodies will be raised from the dead and our spirits will be reunited with our bodies, the ones we will have in heaven for all eternity. Just remember, one of two things will happen one day. Our if our bodies die, we will still be alive in heaven, or God may rise to take us to heaven without allowing our bodies to die. Either way, we will still be in heaven. This is a wonderful promise made by God to all who have received his son as their savior. Okay, here we go. This is the Bible verse. We need a good title for this. What would be a good title for this page? What? I love God. Yeah, that's something, but it kind of talked about, what did it talk about? What did it talk about, Hunter? Um, um, I'm guessing that he, that they talk about, um, that he got, that his lot, he woke up in a cave and then his last death was on the cross. They did talk a little bit about the resurrection, yes. Um, but, they talked about a box in the sky. But mostly about heaven. heaven. Mm -hmm. That's what heaven is, All right. a box in the so, sky. So, okay, so. Your title today is going to be Heaven. All right. And we're going to close up with Jeremiah, and you are going to draw. Here's how you get full points on this. One, if you have this title, and you have this name and date, and you also have to draw a picture, and you have to color it. I understand what I am to do, yes or no? Yes. Great. Jeremiah, have a great weekend. This is makes we finished everything we needed to do today. Excellent job. And hopefully all our recordings turned out.